Washington Street campus of Amarillo College, bringing you the news, events, and activities of your community college. It's the AC Report. Welcome to the AC Report's year-end wrap-up for the 2022-2023 school year at Amarillo College. I'm Dee Hill. And I'm Bennett McBride with this quick look at news, events, and activities that have taken place at your community college this year. Amarillo College is one of two winners for the of the 2023 Aspen Prize for Community College Excellence. More than 100 members of the AC community gathered in the Oak Room on the Washington Street campus on April 20th to view the live stream of the big announcement. Dr. Russell Lowry Hart was in Washington, D.C. to accept the award. AC is sharing the win in the $1 million prize with Imperial Valley College in California. It's incredible. For the city of Amarillo, it's extraordinary because this means Amarillo is, has one of the best community colleges in the country. And I know that AEBC has really been using the fact that we're a top five community college. So being the, the top community college is going to make their work much easier and there will be much benefit to everybody in Amarillo for job creations and the future of Amarillo. The Amarillo College Board of Regents re-elected incumbents Michelle Fortunato and Jay Barrett with 20.57% and 24.70% respectively. Irene Hughes became the only new member elected to the board with 23% 23.5% of votes on May 6. Amarillo also elected a new mayor for the first time in six years. Cole Stanley won with 75% of the votes against his five opponents. Amarillo College Athletics made their comeback in 2022 with men's and women's cross-country volleyball and baseball. Officials say cross-country placed in the top 20 in the nation. Badger baseball saw more than 1,000 fans at Hodgetown opening weekend and the volleyball team is looking forward to competing in the state-of-the-art First Bank Southwest Center in the fall. After months of construction, the First Bank Southwest Center, formerly Carter Fitness Center, is now open for AC faculty and staff and will soon be open to students and community members. Monthly memberships will be available for non-students. Single memberships will be $45 a month, $75 for a couple, $90 for a family, and $35 for senior citizens. There's now a state-of-the-art competition volleyball court with a specialty volleyball floor. There is a new cardio facility that is on the south end of the uh, facility upstairs and so that when you're on those cardio machines like treadmills and so forth you are overlooking uh, Memorial Park and most importantly there is air conditioning for the first time. Not only will the new facility provide much needed space for the Badger athletics teams and physical fitness but it will also offer a variety of classes and activities to help promote healthy lifestyles. After taking a hiatus during the COVID pandemic, AC Pride is back at Amarillo College. And the AC Reports, Lance Hooper has more. Lance, what's AC Pride been up to this semester? You know, they've really kicked it into high gear. They just got back from their spring retreat to the University of New Mexico, and they're getting ready for Amarillo Pride this next month. Amarillo Pride this next month? That sounds exciting. It really does. At Amarillo College, Badger Pride is on the rise. One way to show your pride is with AC Pride Club that meets in the underground every other Tuesday in room 121. Whenever students come and they want to first join, um, what we'll do is we'll get them into our group chat and just tell them about all the fun and exciting things that we're doing. It's a place where people can come and feel loved and accepted regardless of what they identify as, regardless of what they look like or who they are. I came to UC Pride because for the first part I was very ignorant. I wasn't very knowledgeable on my understanding of the community at all. I started to realize that I was someone a part of it. As a transgender person myself, I think the politics going on in our country is a mess and there's always laws coming out banning us. Coming up next, find out how Amarillo College is honoring a member of the AC family and see how currently enrolled students can get free dental services. Find out more right after this. If you want a hip and groovy spot to pursue your success, look no further than the campuses of Amarillo College. Over 
90 years, AC has been educating for the future. So pursue your passion here, where success is timeless. Amarillo College, the future is here. Computers, technology, innovation, in in innovation. The future is Amarillo College. For over 90 years, AC has been educating for the future. So pursue your passion here, where success is timeless. Welcome back. AC students, faculty, and staff have been enjoying the Badger Central Bookstore and Cafe for over a year now. And it seems to be a pretty popular place to grab a bite to eat or hang out with friends. The AC Reports' Ethan Lanham is outside the cafe now. Ethan, how's the cafe doing? According to cafe manager Kyle Keffer, around two to 300 people come into the cafe almost daily between breakfast and lunch. Keffer says cheeseburgers and chicken strips are the most popular menu items at the moment. Everybody loves a good chicken strip, right? We make our own in-house sauce, which is like a spicy cane sauce. And then with our burger, we make our own seasoning and burger sauce to go along with it. So instead of getting the traditional burger, uh, with mustard, mayonnaise, or ketchup. You get these specialized concoctions that we made in the kitchen that was made specifically for this place. The cafe is now sporting new menu items for their breakfast options, soon to include pancakes. Cafe officials say they have several ideas for the future of the cafe, which includes extended cafe hours and new menu items. Mass Media major Alex Rhodes has been a cafe goer for a semester now and likes the friendly atmosphere and timely service, but wishes there was more seating. Uh, they just, they get you in as quickly as they can, and they get you out as quickly as they can. Uh, they, they try to flow as quickly as possible. It, it just seems like a fun place to be whenever they had the room. Rhodes also suggests having two lines in the cafe, one for grab-and-go items and another for hot food. This has been Ethan Lanham with the AC Report. Some students struggle when it comes to knowing when it's time for them to start looking at transferring to a four-year university. Officials say the transfer process is not as daunting as students think. A lot easier than most students believe. Um, there are several um, small steps that students need to take. One, deciding on a university, and then two, looking at that uh, information on the university website, what is the process, and then it's simply filling out an application. And so uh, you want to make sure that your program here at AC aligns with the program at the University of Consideration. So once they decide on their three or if they just really have one that they really like, then they just need to start doing their research. Students who complete the dental hygiene program at Amarillo College and pass their licensure's exams are equipped to provide preventative, educational, and therapeutic services that support disease prevention, total oral health care, in a dental setting. Dentists do clean teeth, but we also take x-rays, and we have dentists that do dental exams. But in that process, we do oral cancer screenings, um, we take images of your teeth, we also do photos of your teeth with intraoral cameras. Um, we um, can do nutritional counseling, tobacco cessation. Um, we do deep cleanings, which are called um, scaling and root planing uh, treatments. Um, and you have injections, you have local anesthetic for that. So the doctor comes over and gives you some, some numbing and then we go in and we clean um, deeper. To schedule an appointment with a dental hygiene clinic, please call 806-354-6050. Timely Care is a medical service that is available to currently enrolled Amarillo College students, their dependents, and their spouses. It is a platform where they can access free medical services anytime from anywhere. Students can access Timely Care by clicking the link on AC Connect under the AC Apps and Email section or by downloading the Timely Care app. Timely Care is not just for when students get the sniffles. They offer mental health care as well. Amarillo College also offers counseling. The AC Reports, June Nooner, Jordan Nooner has the details. The Amarillo College Counseling Center provides free and confidential behavioral health services to currently enrolled students. Counseling Center Coordinator Jared Henders says there are options when it comes to how students can receive help with their mental health. 
and so we get you connected with the care that you need. And so that care might look like in here with individual therapy. Um, we have group therapy as well. Um, it can look like through our timely care service, which is 24-7, 365 day a year access to um, mental health counselors and also physicians that's on, um, available uh, via your phone or a laptop uh, for you and your dependents as well. The Counseling Center can assist students with navigating several challenges, including anxiety, depression, eating concerns, relationship issues, and school-related obstacles. English major Charlie Gleer says they've benefited from the Counseling Center. The Counseling Center takes student confidentiality seriously, so they don't need to worry. Tell, at least they told me in the very beginning that they, uh, unless I interacted with them first, they would not acknowledge me outside of the, the Counseling Center itself, mostly because they wanted to respect my privacy, which I deeply appreciated. Students can set up an appointment with the Counseling Center by calling 806-371-5900 or by emailing accounseling at actx.edu. This is Jordan Nooner for the AC Report. Okay. Amarillo College's FM90 took a more hands-on approach with radio this spring during the annual college radio society event, Vinylthon. This gave students the opportunity to not only get their hands on vinyl for the first time, but also to listen to them. The AC Report's Casey Jones has more on the annual event. When was the last time you played a vinyl record? Chances are it wasn't too long ago, as vinyl records have seen a resurgence in popularity in recent years. Amarillo College students and the community participate in Vinylthon, an annual event where it's all about honoring the vinyl record. Vinylthon is a worldwide day celebrating records, essentially. Uh, it's brought to you by the people that did College Radio Day. So really, it's in conjunction with colleges, with universities, with record stores, all to celebrate Record Store Day uh, and to promote, you know, kind of college music and the resurgence of vinyl. Does vinyl sound better than digital? A lot of people find the warmth of the bass and the resonance of the the needle touching a groove um, a lot more enjoyable as a listening experience as opposed to zeros and ones, be it on a CD or as a compressed MP3. Vinyl records will always hold a special place in the hearts of music lovers, and Vinylthon is just one way of keeping the history of vinyl records alive for generations to come. This is Casey Jones for the AC Report. The Houston-based alternative rock band Blue October returned to Amarillo College for the first time in nearly a decade in April. Frontman Justin Furstenfeld played live in the FM90 studios. We've been through this before. I don't want change. We both want more. I'll give it a minute, stay close by, and wait till the truth comes out. I don't want change, but we can't ignore. We've given it a minute, but we'll just stand here spinning the truth around. Spinning the truth around. Spinning the truth around. Around. The Christopher Macon Memorial Scholarship has been established after the Amarillo College family lost one of their own. On Saturday, March 18th, Macon, the administrative assistance for the Communication Department and Honors Program, died after a flight from South Africa to the Dallas-Fort Worth Airport. Macon was in Cape Town, South, South Africa with the Presidential Scholars. Amarillo College will host two spring commencement ceremonies at 3 p.m. and at 7 p.m. on Friday, May 12th at the Amarillo Civic Center. Officials say there will be more than 1,100 spring and summer graduates crossing the stage. The ceremonies will also be live streamed for those unable to attend. Thank you for joining us for this end of the year wrap up for the news, events, and activities that have taken place at your community college. Have a great summer.